which I think was probably around the 187 month. Draws out impurities through natural power of absorption. Through the natural power of absorption. This is turning white. Now I look like the Tin Man. This is how I look in the winter when I don't have a tan. And yeah, that's pretty expensive. And hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I have had literally the most horrific week. I feel absolutely knackered. I've just got loads on at work. So I've just been feeling really down and a bit kind of like deflated and a bit crap to be honest. So I thought I would come up to my makeup room and do a full like kind of relaxing like facial mask and everything and just kind of chill out out of the way. So I've got my glass of rosé, it looks like Ribena, it looks really dark on camera. And the other reason for this video is I have done a huge haul of Charlotte Tilbury skincare, so I wanted to put it to the test to see whether it was worth the dollar. So before we get started, I just want to say that yes, Charlotte Tilbury is expensive. Some of this I was kindly gifted for Christmas, some I have purchased myself. So without further ado, let's get unready and take this makeup off. So these eyelashes should come off pretty easily. These are the like magnetic lashes you'll see in, you've probably seen in the video already, me wearing them. And they do actually take a bit of the eyeliner off when you take them off, as you can see. You end up with like little patches. Okay, so let's start with the rose. The first product we are going to try is the Take It All Off Genius Eye Makeup Remover. And if I'm perfectly honest, I didn't even know that Charlotte Tilbury did eye makeup removers. And this very much looks like a. Hey, baby, if you come to join me, the cat. <gasps> the cat's come to join. Are you going to get unready? Me? Back to it. Okay, so it looks really similar to another makeup remover that I use, which is the Nivea Double Effect Eye Makeup Remover. I have used this for years and I swear by it. Because it's an oil-based makeup remover, it gets off everything. So like eyelash glue and everything else is even better, I would say, than micellar water at getting off, um, especially like waterproof makeup, it's really good. Um, but if you look, it's actually the opposite way round. I don't know why that is. So Charlotte Tilbury's is blue on the bottom, Nivea's blue on the top. But we will give it a shake, which I'm guessing you're supposed to do because that's what I do with my Nivea one. And I'm going to pop it on a cotton bud cotton bud cotton wool okay so i'm literally just gonna wipe this over my eyes now i don't know how it's gonna fare with this eyeliner because i've never used it before this like magnetic liner but hopefully with it being like oil but oh oh my god you see that that's weird i don't think that's the makeup remover i literally think it's this eyeliner, it's literally just crumbling off my face. I shouldn't really rub my eyes like that. It's not good. Okay, so so far it's not done a bad job at taking off my eyes. I'm just gonna go in with some more. So this is like, I think this is a tester bottle. This is 30 mil. Um, so it's quite good for travel actually. Um, well, not a tester, I think it's a like travel size. I feel really bad, like, my husband, bless him, has been waiting, like, patiently downstairs. And I've just recorded, like, two videos back to back. So, like, bless him, he's just spent, like, the whole night on his own. Um, and I'm kind of a bit gutted, like, I've not been able to sit down and watch TV. Um, have any of you seen, the? I think it's The Fall on Netflix. That's what we're watching at the minute. It's based in Ireland. And it's so, so good. If you're kind of into like crime, like murder mystery things, you must watch it because it's so good. I've got like a load of dry skin. So we've had like so much family. 
um, visiting at the minute and like for four weeks at back to back we've had my family come visit and don't get me wrong it's been amazing like I've loved to see them after lockdown and everything because like we've not seen them like for half a year but like it's just been like intense like we are knackered so I think it's like that's got a part to play and also everything else that we've got going on I've got a lot of stuff that I'm having to deal with at the minute um so yeah I've just been like knackered and we've probably like been like indulging a bit more than we my eyes look super red we've been indulging a bit more than we would usually okay so the redness is going down I think I probably just like rubbed a bit hard on my eyes just to try and get that um liner off so I forgot to say, this is the travel size version and the normal size is 150 mil, which retails at 24 pounds. So I don't know, for a makeup remover, it's a lot of money. Like when you can buy this for a couple of pounds, I don't think it does anything special. Okay, so next obviously is to cleanse my skin after removing my makeup. So I picked up the Goddess Cleanse Ritual. It comes in like a duo set and you get, I think they're both cleansers. Um, I didn't look at them properly. And I didn't realize until like just before filming that you actually get a muslin cloth with it, which I love, like I collect these. <laughs> I have like a whole drawer full of them because I always use like a hot cloth cleanser for nighttime. So you get these two cleansers. So this is Ritual One. It says it has citrus oil and is a radiance cleanse. And you get this one, which is Ritual Two, which says purifying charcoal. So these two, I think retail about £32.50 just for these, but I got them as a set with the night cream and I'm not sure if it was the day cream as well which I think was probably around the 187 mark maybe 150 and I do know that the 24 hour skin set is on offer on Charlotte Tilbury at the moment so let's start with the ritual one cleanse so it says a radiance boosting citrus oil that removes impurities whilst improving the appearance of tone clarity and texture Okay, so it was literally like a weird like jelly kind of texture. It's really sticky. It feels like I'm putting like honey on my face. Ah, it's like the, it's like the Clarins oil gel, is it a cleanser or makeup remover? And that like comes out really like sticky and then it just kind of melts into an oil. It's really, really similar to that. It feels really hydrating, which is good because I've got like a really bad like patch of like dry skin on my nose. I didn't even notice until I was just doing my makeup earlier. It smells really nice. I feel like I've smelt this before. <gasps> I know, it smells like the cream I use at night. It smells like the Emma Hardy Midas Touch Cream, if you've ever used that. So I'm just gonna take my muslin cloth and put it under warm water and I will be right back. Okay, so I've just soaked my muslin under hot water, well, warm water. So I'm just gonna remove this. Oh, you can see it's taking some stuff off. It was actually quite, um, quite hard, like quite stiff, the muslin cloth when I first took it out of the packet. But now um, it's wet, it has softened quite a lot. Excuse my red nose, I've just been like scrubbing at it because I had some dry skin, but it's done a really good job of taking it off. Okay, so my face does feel really clean, so let's go on to step two. So this says a bamboo charcoal skin purifier that draws out impurities through natural power of absorption. Through the natural power of absorption. Oh, it's like, can you see? It's like metallic. It's really pretty. It reminds me of like the Glam Glow face masks. So let's massage this into my face. This does not look like it's gonna go white. 
this is turning white now I look like the tin man okay so I'm just gonna go and damp this cloth and again we'll rinse it off my skin feels really itchy am I allergic to this okay so far my skin feels really clean um that did have kind of like a soapy kind of scent to it and like lathered up as if it was like a face wash and I do feel like all the makeup and everything is out of my skin it does feel really clean but at the same time it doesn't feel you know like when it's squeaky clean and it's like almost dry it doesn't feel like that it feels like it's still got some hydration to it which is really nice next I'm gonna do a mask now I did really want the dry sheet mask that I've seen like all over and I've seen her advertising it and she used it I think with Tatty the Tatty Westbrook but she's used it loads of times and I just really really want to try it out because I'm just intrigued as to how a dry sheet mask would work but I couldn't get my hands on it it just seems to have sold out over lockdown and everyone must have their dry sheet masks on <laughs> whilst working from home but having said that my amazing godmother came to the rescue because she got me the um, travel size version of the goddess clay mask for Christmas so this retails at £10, which I think is really good if you just want to like give the mask a try just to see if it works for you. So this is the 15ml. They do also do a 75ml version of this, which is £38, which again, I don't think is that bad for a mask. I think I've paid more than that for a Glam Glow one and you don't use them that often, probably like once a week, twice a week if that. So I don't think that's a bad price. Okay, so this says that it visibly lifts, smooths, brightens, and tightens pores for baby skin. And I've just looked on her website and it says that it has bio-nymph peptide complex, whatever the hell that is. And it says it improves skin elasticity, has rosehip oil which regenerates, restores, and restores softness. Something else, Spanish clay and sweet almond oil which obviously moisturise and she also has a special like workout ritual thing that you're supposed to follow when applying it so I'm just gonna watch that video now and work out what I'm supposed to do okay so the routine is literally the same as what I would do when applying my mask from a really young age to be fair my mum has taught me um, how to look after my skin and some really good techniques and she has always sworn by Clarins, so she's had a lot of Clarins facials and she's always kind of like taught me their techniques. Clarins, don't hate on me if I'm doing it wrong. So it says apply a generous layer. It says I only need to leave this on for 10 minutes, which is pretty fast for a face mask. Like, usually they're, what, like 20 minutes? So on the video it says apply a generous layer but I swear I just read on the website it says to apply a thin layer. I don't know maybe I misread it. This is how I look in the winter when I don't have a tan. Okay so this is like the motion that she said like to massage it into your skin. It is pretty thick. It's not too scented like it doesn't really have much of a scent to be honest. I do quite like products that have a scent. I'm I do quite enjoy that, like more of like a, a relaxing experience. Okay, so that is all applied and ready. So I'm just gonna wait 10 minutes and then I will wash it off. Okay, so 10 minutes is up. So I'm just gonna remove the face mask. It comes off pretty easy. Like usually I hate masks that you have to remove. I prefer, I prefer a sheet mask because they're horrendous to get off, but this like comes off super easy I can see like I've got a couple of spots coming oh, serves me right though I've really not been looking after my skin so um it's my own fault I really really neglected it the past couple of weeks I've not cleansed it I've not moisturized or anything and it's just in such a bad state so this is kind of going to be a wake-up call for it <laughs> Okay, so now that mask is off, my skin does feel really smooth, does feel really clean, 
but you can see where my spots are coming out. It's literally, it's as if like, it's bought out all my spots. So you like literally you can see here and here and like here and here, like where I'm getting spots. It's really weird. I've never had that before. So the mask was really nice. I probably got another two uses, I would say, out of the bottle. So that worked out about roughly like three pounds per application, which I think is quite good. Um, I probably would pay more than that for a mask at the store. On to serum. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. It says 93% agree skin looks younger. So this is one of her newer products that's kind of fairly new. It was brand new when I bought it, but I've kind of been waiting to do this video. So it says, massage a few drops into clean skin morning and evening before your magic moisturizer. I always thought serum you were supposed to pat into your skin. I may be wrong, but Charlotte's all into her massaging. I think she literally likes to like, tap products in because it improves your circulation, gets your blood flowing and it helps the products soak into your skin, if that makes sense. So the product looks like this and as always, Charlotte delivers on packaging. Like look at this like cute like diamond that's underneath and then you when you tip it, it's like a little star. Let's give this a go. So she says apply a few drops. Okay, so it's got a little stopper in it so that it's stops too much product coming out and it's just like a little pipette. I always use these with the ordinary. So I'm just going to pop a couple of drops onto my forehead, on my cheeks, nose and chin. Okay so it says crystal infused replexium. She loves to use some complex words. Serum for younger looking miracle Skin and it has again that citrusy smell like but I do prefer scented products and this is delivering so it soaks into your skin super fast like there's barely any stickiness left it does feel nice on your skin I mean it's not too sticky I have to see how it settles down and obviously I can't comment because I'm using it for the first time so I can't comment on how it performs over time but I do have to say that it does feel really nice on my skin it's soaked in really well like I do find that Charlotte Tilbury's products just apply so nicely for £60, I think it's worth it. And to be honest, you are going to get a lot of use out of this. I think it soaks into the skin really nice. So it will go really well under makeup. I have struggled with the ordinary products before going under makeup. But this, it does soak in really nice. Feels really lightweight and nice on my skin. So yeah, I really like this one. So next is moisturiser. And I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. And can we all just take a minute to appreciate this packaging? How beautiful is this? So it comes like this and it literally pulls apart on each side. I've not opened this before. And then opens it up like a little box. Like a, how cute is that? So it says, eternal youth magic properties bathe your skin in an instant fountain of youth whilst you sleep so the cream looks like this and honestly it's the most beautiful cream i've probably ever owned it's just gorgeous so it has this kind of like crystal kind of vibe and has the charlotte tilbury logo on top it's just stunning like her packaging is just incredible. I don't know if it's her team that comes up with this or if it's Charlotte herself, but they're always on point. It's incredible. So, oh my goodness. But she's jammed the lid on. I'm in. I have used her day cream before and this looks a lot richer. It looks kind of almost like waxy, like sticky looks really really like can you see like really thick this pot is 
50 ml, but I think that is gonna go a long way. I think this will last a long time. So I'm just going to take a small amount. She says start on my lower cheek, so let me just dot the product over my face first. It's very, very rich. It's like a balm almost, like really oily and thick. So I'm wondering if it's just gonna melt into the skin, but it is super, super thick. It feels almost like a mask. Like it doesn't feel like a moisturizer. It feels like I'm literally smearing Vaseline on my face, but it does have a really nice smell. It's like a very delicate scent, but it's kind of, I don't even know what it is. It's like a, I don't know, like a honey or royal jelly kind of smell. This is really odd. I thought that it might melt down into more of a, into more of like a, a lotion as I put it on, a bit like the citrus oil cleanser, but it's not. It's literally still super sticky and just like dragging. Okay, so this tub retails at 100 pounds. It's 50 mil and yeah, that's pretty expensive, but you can get a smaller version, which is 15 mil for 30 pounds if you did want to try it out. And at the moment, I'm not too sure. I can't give my full verdict, I guess, until the morning. But at the moment, it does feel like I've just smeared Vaseline across my face. It does feel really sticky. It does feel really like hydrating and moisturizing, but at the same time, yeah, it's really sticky. You can feel this on your face. It doesn't feel like lightweight or anything you do know it's there. So if you're looking for something that kind of just soaks in and that this product isn't for you, but I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and I'm gonna wait till morning and see how it fares. So while I'm waiting for this to soak in, we're gonna move on to eyes. And I picked up the Magic Eye Rescue. Now, through lockdown, I could not get my hands on this. I kept trying week after week to see if I could buy it, but I couldn't. So I just had to get the tester along with my order so that I could show you guys and kind of give my verdict. But sod's law, it's come back in stock now. So if you did want to buy it, it is available. And I will say with the tester, there is quite a lot of product in here. So you will get quite a few uses out of it which is quite good. This has the same scent as the Magic Night Cream. Really, really similar. Okay, so this is a bit sticky. I don't know if I've just got some of the night cream on my eye area, but it does feel a bit sticky on my skin. It is soaking in, I would say, better than the night cream. Um, but having said that, Giving the night cream a bit more time, I can feel it slowly soaking in. So fingers crossed, I'm not gonna be like sticky all night. But I would say, if you're gonna do this at night time, my skin is still like a bit sticky. So you're gonna have to give it time to soak in. And the normal Magic Rescue comes in size 15 mil, which is the same as the Goddess um, Clay Mask. So it was about that size, if you're wondering and that retails at 42 pounds. Okay, so that has actually soaked in quite well and does feel quite nice. One thing I do hate with an eye moisturizer is for it to be like really greasy and thick and like kind of sitting on your eye, whereas this does soak in really well. And finally onto lips. If you have watched some of my previous videos, you will know that I love to moisturize my lips before bedtime, just to make sure they're nice and hydrated and I don't get any of kind of the dry skin and stuff. But I do have some dry skin because as I said, I've neglected my skin. So I picked up the Charlotte's Magic Lip Oil Crystal Elixir and it says it's a lip conditioner by day, a lip mask by night. Treatment for hydrated luscious lips apply throughout the day or as an overnight conditioner. Inside it looks like this. Very similar to the Magic Serum, kind of like branding. Okay, and it's a roller ball. Doesn't have any instructions because you just have to roll it over. It does taste really similar to the Soap and Glory um, Mother Pucker. Sexy Mother Pucker, that's the one. Sexy Mother Pucker lip gloss. Okay, so this retails at £28. 
I will say I do really like the rollerball. It's nice. It kind of like massages it into your lips. It is really hydrating. It's quite similar to what I would usually use, but with the rollerball, it stops too much product coming out. And yeah, I think it's quite nice. 28 pounds is a bit on the expensive side when I pay, what is it like 10, 15 pound for lanolin. But if you're looking for a product you want to splash out on. So that's my skincare done for tonight. I will say my skin does look quite dewy. It does look quite fresh. It does look quite glowy. But on the other hand, her products are really expensive. I don't know if I would swap out any of my current um, routine stuff. My favorite out of all of it probably was the serum. I probably would get the most like wear out of it and use out of it and I did find that it felt really nice and um, did the job. I did also quite like the eye cream as well after it soaked in. I will say that the nighttime moisturizer is slowly, like really slowly sinking into my skin. It was not my favorite. If I'm honest, that was probably my least favorite product out of it all, which is a pain because it was the most expensive. I'll have to give it a couple more days and try it and see how I go with it. And I will update you guys and let you know how I get on. But at the moment, I probably wouldn't purchase it again. I don't think it's something that is for me. So that's all for tonight. If you could please hit the like and the subscribe button below. And if you have any questions or anything you'd like to know, please leave them in the comments box below and I will get back to you and I will see you next time. Bye.